midnight in Las Vegas, Nevada, but it might as, 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 might as well be high noon because we're about to witness a shootout. Who will be the fastest gun at the inaugural Formula One Heineken Silver Las Vegas Grand Prix? The cars are headed out on track. This is Q1, the first of three sessions of qualifying. All 20 cars are out there, each trying to stay out of the relegation zone, as we call it. The five slowest cars. Just a reminder here, we can be slow on the exit, uh, but on the stationary side. Drivers and teams talking. Rod Stewart and Gordon Ramsay doesn't get much better, does it? Now you know you've got an event. Sir Rod Stewart, thank you very much. <laughs> no, I can't believe this. I really can't. Uh, it's had so much hype. It's had so much said and talked about, both doubters and enthusiasts. But to race down the strip in Las Vegas is the most audacious idea I have ever seen in the world of sport and thanks to Formula One we're actually doing it. I really am just, I mean, on tenterhooks to see what happens in the next hour. It is absolutely an amazing feat to pull this off. What does a tenterhook look like? I yes, exactly. I wouldn't know one. That was a great shot of the famous fountains at the Bellagio as the cars race by on the world's well, certainly one of the world's most famous boulevards. And I'm with you, Jonathan. I really never thought this would happen. For many years to work a deal with Las Vegas, Caesars Palace Casino finally put on a race. There was a promotion just by that casino, so the other casinos obviously had nothing to do with it. So designed for a sweeping three using company property and public lands and they use those lands so they had to jam the racetrack on the casino and that wound up being a very disappointing Mickey Mouse 2 racetrack this is far from that and the final nail in the coffin if you will was uh, that if the whole problem, the whole process, the whole project, the whole idea was to bring in high rolling gamblers to the tables at Caesar's Palace. And they didn't show up. And that was the end of that. Look at this. I have tonight. That's right. This event tonight. So I, I've, I've seen people that I've only seen on the uh, movie screen. I've seen Sean White, who is a hero of mine. I wish I could snowboard like him. Uh, it's pretty incredible. <laughs> but also, the seriously talking, have also invested in the sport. Ryan Reynolds, uh, McElhaney, you know, the, there's also them already. These people have loved Formula One. Tom Cruise has been a regular for many years. Um, but, you know, Deb Bethel. It has always been a sport, but other sportsmen have admired. And I think to get these guys here uh, and to be in a situ where this is just very special in a moment in sports history. Uh, for me.